shoot this, okay? I gotta prep up for the interview. Get started. So people at one point adored your work. You had such a loyal fan base. What do you have to say to your fans after all of this has been released on the news? I mean, there was a time where 80% uh, of my fans were females. Me and my buddy, we, we would travel from the set and we would we'd fuck them in Burger King bathrooms on the top of the roofs of uh, Popeye Chickens. And uh, now my fans seem to pirate my old movies. They think I'm some old man they can steal from with this whole internet wave. I want my fucking money, alright? I'm living here cigarette to mouth. That's what I think about my fans. Fuck you, where's my Oscar anyway? So what was, what was your reaction to the tragic death of your co-star Heath Ledger? Who the fuck is Heath Ledger? The last film you worked on, Speaking Wind, in 2007, a Woody Allen film starring Heath Ledger and yourself, was cancelled mid-production. Can you help us speculate to maybe why that happened? Uh, well, Heath was... he was an asshole. We would party together, but, uh, he was... he had blonde hair, and I don't respect any man with blonde hair. So when I came on set first uh, take, I thought it was Macaulay Culkin, you know, the kid from uh, Sandlot. She was my love. She was my love first, and she will always be my love. I met her first, what are you talking about? Can somebody teach the cut? Somebody Alex, teach this motherfucker out of that. professionals for crying out loud. You're acting like a bunch of little girls. Come on, you're supposed to be professionals. What are you acting? You want to get in the... the fuck up with your shit all the time. And, uh, yeah, this Australian accent, and I can't work with a fucking kangaroo, don't get me wrong, he knew how to drink, it was a, it was a blast while it lasted, uh, I think he moved or something, something happened to him, he got out of the acting game. Woody, don't even get me started on that child molested motherfucker, he's disgusting. You know, I always regarded Tony as a very talented actor, one of the best I ever worked with, in fact, but he was always making anti-Semitic comments in regards to my daughter, I mean my wife, and um, you know, him and Heath, they were always out partying together, they would come back to the studio high, uh, you know, but I still respect Tony, and would I work with him again? No. You've recently had a struggle with addiction. Can you maybe talk to us about uh, what you're doing to become clean? Uh... I, I've uh, stayed away from all drugs, uh, I uh, take vitamins, B12, calcium, I drink milk, I'm currently on a juice diet, no liquor, um, it's, it's, uh, it's tough, but it's, it's better to be sober than to be the old me, you know, I, I, now I have a, a clear mind of things and uh, Everything's beautiful, you know. Uh, I don't give any much visitation rights to my daughter because my wife is a fucking hoosier, but that's another story for another time. Now that you're on house arrest, how have you been keeping yourself busy around the house? I don't know who the fuck told you I was on house arrest. I have been free to roam. My wife's was my wife. <laughs> Come on, 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 come on